Hi everybody, Pete Plum here. The time has finally come. We're doing our flight testing on the DP-1. We've all been waiting for it for a long time. It's finally here. Today I have the one of the beta test engines uh, mounted to Cracker Jack serial number one. This is the first plans built Cracker Jack built by Gus Geisinger in 1986. And uh, this has been a great test bed for this engine. This is a beta test engine, as I mentioned, so it is one step above the prototype. This is a little bit different than the production ones in that we're in Rev D now. This is beta test case number six of eight, and uh, we put it together with brand new uh, continental cylinders. Uh, it's got our crankshaft, of course. It's got uh, a brand new stock camshaft. It's got brand new lifters and hydraulic units. Um, we have these new uh, exhaust, stainless steel exhaust that we built for it. Everything that you see here that's gold is continental. Everything that's silver is the stuff that comes in the kit. These are the proprietary products here. So it comes with the crankshaft, the crankcase, um, the uh, rods and pistons are Carrillo units, and they're really high-quality American-made units. And the whole rotating mass is, is balanced. Now, this has been the business model since the beginning. We've just refined it down now to where it's lighter, it's more balanced, it's a very smooth-running engine. Um, this particular one has two slick magnetos. This actual accessory case came right off of an O200 and we use the exact existing magnetos and everything. This is a similar oil tank than what we had before that you saw on the previous videos. Uh, it's been refined a little bit more for this for this configuration on this airplane. It now incorporates a um, air filter and an air box with a carburetor heat function and we're using a Zenith Bendix 13859 carburetor made for Harley Davidson's, the 100 cubic inch Harleys. And it's been working out really well. It's got an accelerator pump and uh, it, it, it seems to be running this little 100 cubic engine uh, just perfectly. Uh, we got rid of that, that uh, updraft Marvel Shebler, which was a great carb, but uh, it didn't fit this particular application. So um, the beta test engines, uh, quickly I'm going to give you a history. The beta test engines are version B. There was no version C because we made some changes to the betas that never got uh, put into production and we went right to Rev D. Now the Rev Ds are the ones that you're going to see in production and what they uh, are, the main difference is that we have incorporated um, a Rotax mount so that you can use either the Continental four point mount or it'll already have a Rotax uh, bed mount mounted onto it and the other thing is we will have a stator mount up here for a little alternator that will turn off of the crankshaft. The biggest thing though is the configuration of the intake manifold. You'll notice that the intake tubes enter the case now. Now on the beta test I had to mock it up but the production ones, the, the Rev D ones, have the intake manifold going through the oil pan and back to a plenum chamber that's cast into our own accessory case. Now this became, uh, the, the, the accessory case was an issue because a lot of you were saying that there aren't very many of them and they're very expensive to buy new. So I decided to um, build a plenum chamber onto a proprietary uh, accessory case. It's identical in every way to the Continental in, in that it'll have a starter, it'll have the two magneto holes, it'll have the uh, um, the screen adapter, the tack adapter, but it will have a plenum chamber for the intake manifold on the bottom and a side draft carburetor. And using a side draft carburetor opened it up to many more options instead of just the updrafts because there are very few updraft carburetors available. So there, there were some big improvements going on behind the scenes as you guys were waiting for, for more progress reports. I'm sorry about that, but we were, we were busily trying to uh, get this thing going and, and we finally, finally do. So uh, we'll be buttoning this thing up in a minute and taking it out flying.